Hello everybody, and welcome back to Aurora Plays Neverwinter Nights 2 Mysteries of Westgate. I am your humble bard, Tim. In the previous session, we basically uncovered uh, the, the den of the night masks, uh, finding out they were being run by, well, we knew they were being run by vampires, but killing off a couple of vampires or vampires, solving this bizarre puzzle and opening up this portal, and that was where we left it. So I believe, if I have a look at our journal, that's the only thing we've got, the Curse of the Marks. So we're on the, the final stretch. We've done basically everything else. So uh, I think what I'll do, actually, before we go in, everyone will have a nice rest, because I think we're going to need that. So I'm sensing a boss fight coming. So everyone's all rested up. I will do a quick save. And we will jump through the portal. Uh, before it was a portal, it's a uh, filmy surface shimmering and writhing in the air. I will step through the portal. Wait, let's not be too hasty, Aurora. We don't know where this portal leads, and I have a feeling that once we step through it, it might not be easy to return here. Uh, well... What do you suggest we do? Let's finish our business in the city and make sure we're completely ready before we proceed through here. Remember, we have no idea where it'll take us. Well, I've already done that. I have no unfinished business to attend to, so let's continue forward. As you wish, use the portal. <laughs> oh, so spooky. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> it's the guy from the cover art. Is that Lord... Is that... Strahd? Hmm. It kind of looks like Strahd. How are we doing? This is most amusing. <laughs> Westgate hoards dark secret places like a miser hoards gold. Yet you choose the lair of the faceless himself to stumble upon. The gods of mortals are whimsical indeed. Indeed they are. As you have doubtless already surmised. The intrigues of mortal deities no longer afflict me. Uh. I am Orbach, the Faceless, yet often called the Night King, ruler of the Night Masks. Your life is yours for the moment, but I will have your secrets. Who are you? Uh -huh. I am Aurora Boreas. I asked as a courtesy. Oh. Your name is, of course, already known. Of greater interest to me is why you are here in Westgate. To be more specific, why you are in my hidden lair. None know of this place. Has Tobias betrayed me, perhaps? Uh... That's right. Oh, the halfling was a poor front. I followed the cellar down. Tobias is dead? A shame. He deserved to suffer an agonizing end for betraying the winery's true purpose. But enough of that. I am skilled enough in the arcane arts to sense a curse upon you. An extremely malignant curse. I believe I know the source. You have in your possession a cursed domino mask. Yes. I know the history of the object, and Ooh. indeed its cure. Oh. If you are willing to listen, I will deign to enlighten you on the subject. Uh, I'm listening. The cursed mask you hold is tied to the spirit of a priestess who, lamentably, pried too deeply into night mask business. Her name was Alandra of the Flails. She followed Hor, god of vengeance, and her single-mindedness allowed her to avoid a final death. As <laughs> fortune would have it, I possess a duplicate mask that would, when worn, remove the curse. Alas, I am unwilling to hand over this mask. This leaves us in something of a quandary. You see, there is another way to rid you of your curse. Oh, here we go. Tell me of this cure. You are an individual of some power. I know I am. If this were not so, you would already be dead. <laughs> I could use you in my organization. Oh. I would need to guarantee your loyalty first, but that is easily done. 
Mm. Accept the blessing of vampirism. <laughs> Submit yourself to my fangs and gain power beyond the dreams of any mortal. The knight is a loving mistress, one who scorns the sun's thirst for entropy. Immortality can be yours. No spirit can haunt the dreams of those who do not sleep. There are a few disadvantages to vampirism as well. Yeah. Such as, oh, the fact that you become his slave? You can't do this. Yeah, you no are shit. a fool if you even consider his offer, and a weak fool at that. I trust you have enough moral conviction to refuse. Of course. Listen to his words. Embrace the darkness. <laughs> to yearn for light and warmth and love. It is foolishness, as I have learned. This is a great gift he offers you. Do not spurn it. Ah, uh, shut up, well, man, titties. What do you say? I say... Your promise intrigues me, but I would not serve you. I'm my own master. No, no. You are an abomination. I would never do such a thing. Ah, so you are the sanctimonious type. Hell yeah! A shame. Very well, mortal. Go to your death, screaming defiance and cursing my name, if that is your wish. The mistress was right about you. You have led us to the lair of the faceless himself. What is this? Oh. Ebon claws have followed you here? Foolish mortal. Yes, foolish. Yes, yes. And now you are trapped. Trapped like a rat. We shall slay you, and then the glorious mistress shall assume the position of faceless. Oh, they're going to assume the Trapped, position. <laughs> but hardly powerless. <laughs> Prepare to learn the true measure of a vampire lord, fools. Uh, what are we doing? I need to do that one. I'm going to turn that off. I don't want that. Is he dead already? Oh no, he's teleported over here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> he died like a sack of shit. Where at lieutenant? Where at lieutenant? Hello, where at lieutenant? <laughs> eat, eat. I'm guessing the person that died, the other one, was actually meant to be able to talk. Like that was the the NPC that actually had the ability to speak, so the other the, the were rats are now just hissing at us because they no longer have a commander. Uh, let's see if we can find him in his in his hole. <laughs> Here he is, the faceless uh, Obaka lies in his coffin, his body quickly regenerating. Oh, what? Do I have a? Oh, hang on. Does someone else have a yes. steak? Yes. Yes. Uh, well, the candlesticks are... Oh, here we go. Uh, break the candelabra to make a wooden steak. Ha 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 ha. You're fucked now, buddy. Uh, lies in his coffin, his body quickly regenerating. Thank him in the heart. Ah, ah. Well, if that was the boss fight, that was kind of disappointing, really. Uh, there's no sign of the duplicate domino mask or uh, that Oakbath mentioned. Oh. Were you looking for this? Oh, hello. I took the liberty of removing it from the coffin during your little showdown. Who the fuck are you? Orbach thought himself clever. But he failed to notice my gaseous form drifting through the entrance to his precious sanctum. Okay. Now he is dead, and a new faceless must arise to lead the Nightmasks. 
Did you truly think that wretched were-rat could have masterminded such a coup? Altama was a pawn, oh. as were the Ebon Claws. Westgate shall have a new Night Queen. Tasheni, formerly Countess of Shades. I have no idea who you are. Mantides? Is that you? This is something I had never anticipated. Tasheni, I mourned you for three years. It's strange, but I feel nothing. You truly are dead to me. I have found solace in Shar now. Shinny stares at man titties for a moment, and amazingly, a look of deep sorrow filters briefly behind her feral eyes. Then she releases a cold, hollow laugh. <laughs> I'm not the only one who's changed a great deal since we last saw each other. I'd almost be inclined to welcome you into the night masks, but I'm afraid you'd be one turncoat too many. No. Now, enough talk. My Fire Knife allies have arrived. Word of the true nature of the Night Mask leaders cannot be allowed to spread. It's time for you all to die. Ah, oh, no. Man, she got fucked up. Good God. This is the spot where Tashini vanished in gaseous form. So she was a vampire. Why are there so many goddamn vampires in this game? You spot uh, Okabath's duplicate domino mask lying on the floor. Okay. I will pick up the mask. So if I put this mask on, that will rid me of the, the curse. Oh, I place the mask firmly over your face, your body tingling with anticipation. <laughs> I tingle with anticipation. Uh, for several long moments, you wait, but nothing happens. You slowly come to the realization that this is, in fact, just a common domino mask. I appear to have been duped. Ah, curses. Is this guy going to talk to me now? Nope, he's still just... <laughs> still just hissing at me. Alrighty, let's get moving on. Oh, hang on. I don't want to wear this mask. It doesn't work. Uh, give me the golden circlet back. Actually, no, let me wear my awesome hat. There we go. Alright, looks like we're done here. As you approach the mystic portal, you feel a sudden chill and an eerie gust of wind blows through the chamber. The light's dim as darkness descends. Oh no. Oh, darkness has descended upon Go me. Go to Undergate! Jeez, that was loud. And see with my eyes. Don the mask, and the way shall be clear. You cannot defy me. I can. Um, but who the hell are you? No more questions. Just go, and all shall be made clear. Yeah, that's all we need is a bossy ghost. All right, you leave me little choice, it seems. Every time I put that mask are you on. All right? Ooh. Who are you talking to? An angry ghost. Um, you didn't see anything? It was a banshee or something? A banshee? I'm afraid not. Oh, uh, never mind. Just trust me that we need to go to Undergate quickly. Let's go! Hardenwood! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, let's use the portal. Oh, is it locked now? Uh, the shrieking voice of Alandra tears into your skull. Go to Undergate! Go there! See with my eyes! Don the mask! Oh, okay, I've got to wear the mask to get to Undergate. All right, so... Uh, this is the one I want. Oh, cool, I didn't turn evil. That's good. Yeah, every, time, every time I put the mask on, this ghost keeps harassing me. Oh, this is just great. These fucking wraiths have boxed me in. Hang on. Piss off, ghost. All right, let me put the mask back on. All 
Okay, so I'm looking for some ghostly footsteps, I guess. May whatever god you worship have mercy on you, for I will not. Ah, here we go. Ah, fucking... Ah, yeah, the footsteps were going this direction, not the other way. Okay, seriously, out of the goddamn... Thank you. Okay. Ah! Okay, would you look at that? The statue was an exit to Undergate. But I had to go back up to the, the city to get in there, but never mind. Ah. See, I put this mask on earlier, and then these footprints weren't here. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Well, this is where I got ambushed last time. Ah. Uh, that's why those boxes were there. Me to crawl into the curse of the ooh. Ugh, the spell this place smells horrible. The stench of death and the dying. Evil. I can feel it in my skin, in my hair, in my teeth. That's pretty evil if you can feel it in your teeth. Unless I miss my guess, Aurora, we've come we've gone quite a ways underneath the city. Oh fuck, there's another ghost. And I think that no one knows it's here. You're not concerned about the ghosts? Okay. What? You hear that? Sound of flowing liquid like water through pipes. But where's it coming from? Oh, no. I think this is going to be the blood farm. Yes, yes, I think I hear it too. And there's something else. It's a faint pumping sound. It's quite regular too. Because the winery was basically shipping blood. Almost as if it's a hot... Uh, <laughs> Unholy holiness. Okay, everyone. Let's just get this over with. Right, I'm ready. After you. Can I take my mask off now? Uh, get back, you... Get back to your pen, meats. <laughs> hmm, what this knocking at my door? Visitors? A fleshling. Come in. We are just about to ease. <laughs> oh, he's a werewolf. Too much, fool. Hey, Mabel, oh, Can't even make a scratch. Uh oh. Oh, he's smoking. All right. The creature standing before you seems only vaguely aware of your presence. Despite the pale skin, unseeing eyes, and lethargic movements, this pathetic figure appears to be human. Human livestock. We should put him and the others out of their misery right after we deal with those who are responsible for this. Couldn't we just fix them? Makes sense, doesn't it? The Night Mask needed a way to feed all those vampires without drawing attention to themselves. What better way than to start their own blood factory? If your man turns in your direction. Uh, uh. Attempt to rouse the man by slapping him in the face. Sure. The man merely cowers before you like a whimpering dog. There's some way we can help you now that I've punched you in the face? He does not respond. Uh, complete lack of understanding is answer enough. There is nothing you can do to this poor creature. Who are you? Cocks his head to the sound. All right. 
Uh, it's possible this person was never actually... Manual of Blood Harvesting. Okay, let's take the book then. He was never actually... Oh! Hell yeah! They killed Obed. Awesome. Wait, that's probably not a good thing. Uh, yeah. Still dressed in these tattered remains of his expensive clerical vestments, Obed butchered corpse covered in blood. Uh, so whether or not they've actually killed Obed or whether they killed him earlier and were impersonating him, I don't know. More human cattle. All right. Skeletal minion, skeletal minion. Sir Peregrim. Hello, sir. Run away, intruder. Let fear give you flight. You have seen many horrors in this place, but there is naught that can prepare you for the horror of your own death. Well... I know this well. Uh, um, so who the hell are you? I am accustomed to introducing myself as Sir Peregrim, Knight of Tear. But in truth, I am no longer... Oh, a death knight. Fear stripped me of my honorable titles, even before death took the rest of my identity. Uh, so how did you die, sir? It is a lengthy tale, but I will tell you if you wish. Sure, I'm always down for some lore. Perhaps it will make you understand why you should be afraid. <laughs> I was the companion of Alandra of the Flails. More than that, in truth. We were united by love, in addition to our common cause of fighting the Night Masks. Together, we discovered the unspeakable secret they were hiding from Westgate. You're speaking of the vampires in the Court of Nightmasters. The revelation that the Nightmasks were run by vampires was only the prelude to a greater horror. The real revelation was this butcher operation they are running in this place. By breeding and magically aging humans, Oh. The night masks ensure a constant food supply for their blood-sucking minions. It allows the number of vampires within their ranks to increase dramatically. Smart. Uh... Go on. At the time, the operation was in its infancy. Alandra was the one who learned of it and led the charge into battle. I followed her for as long as I could. But then, the fear began to take hold of me. Not the magical variety vampires use against their enemies. Something more deep-seated. When swords were drawn and fangs bared for our final assault on the night masks, I did what my nature demanded. I ran. Unfortunately, it was too late. The night masks overtook me. The last thing I saw was a Landra fighting her way toward me. Whether to heal me or kill me, I do not know. Mm. With her dying breath, the Landra cursed the Night Masks, and me along with them. When my own breath failed, I became a Death Knight. I was right. Now I am condemned to guard her for eternity. Or should I say, what's become of her? Uh... You see, in death, I no longer fear. I am incapable of it. That is my tale, intruder. Now you can flee in terror. But when you do, be sure not to hesitate as I did. We shall be at your heels. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm not running, so shut up and fight, Sir Peregrine. If you will not flee, then you will remain here with us. Forever. We can make an awesome band with a voice like yours. Man. Ring of the Shattered Vow. Freedom of movement, chaotic, reduced saving throw, mind, haste. Uh, oh, haste. All right, cool. We shall loot these things. Onward. <laughs> Bit of quick save here. Oh, hey there, Alandra. 
on the mask. It is the only thing that can save you from me. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is delicious. The little mortal slays the faceless, the only creature in Westgate that could have challenged me. Then my dear friends, Altama and Tasheni, and then adds another dozen cursed souls to my collection. Who the fuck are you? It's a shame you put that undead witch to rest before I arrived. She would have made a great prize. I wonder if you'll be nice enough to let me have your soul as a replacement. Nope, I'm using it. Did I see her in the Warrens? Sure, let's just say that I did. I did see her in the Warrens. Yes, she was the one with the shadow hounds. I'm quite the thespian, hmm? As you've probably gathered, the hounds were my work. They were such playful puppies. It's a shame you had to kill them. Well, they kept biting me. Ah, uh, so what's all this talk of souls, and who are you really? Who am I? That question has a thousand separate answers on a hundred different planes. But in the here and now, I am Zymina. I must confess, however, that I am not quite all that I appear. Okay. I must confess... I never expected this to be quite so easy. That foolish creature Tasheni and her were-rat puppet didn't suspect a thing. A ruse within a ruse within a ruse. Hardly a complex web to my kind, but enough to ensnare those two. I am slightly disappointed in Orbach. I had heard such promising things about him. I can hardly wait to claim his soul for the blood war. Oh, so he, she's first a demon. things first, however. Oh, here we go. True form time. Oh, no. Ah, suck you bitches, damn it. My thanks for all your work on my behalf, little puppet. You've been a most excellent tool. The players are all dead, and to the victor goes the spoils. Damn right, I'm taking all the spoils. Oh, shit, he's back. Well, this hardly seems fair. What? Who dares? Oh. Always make sure you understand the nature of the game before declaring yourself the winner, fiend. Ooh. Well, hello, sexy. You, you think to trick me, mortal? I saw the faceless <laughs> perish. For your arrogance, I shall inflict an eternity Look, it's me. Oh, oh, I'm I'm soul. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. The final boss fight. Just die already. Uh, let's take out her friends first. Uh, man titties, you need some haste upon you, sir. Alright. I shall yell at this person. Oh, 
Oh, we got her. Yay, us. Thank you, stranger. Because of your heroism, the curse has been lifted, and I am free to go to the throne of my god and receive the eternal reward I ooh, have been ooh. promised. But before I go, know that my wrath will be sated, my retribution complete. This place, this wretched place, will be obliterated and buried beneath the very mass of Faerun. By my hand, the evil that occurred here will be lost to the memories of humankind forever! Hell However, yeah. No oh. more blood will ever again be spilled here, and certainly no more of yours. Come, and let me transport you to safety. Go with my blessing, and with my thanks. Sure, let's go. You awaken. Good. That wretched spirit may have bought you a few extra minutes of life, but the game ends now. Your part is done. It is time that I remove the final piece. I staked you. Why are you still alive? Thank you. My exact thing. You were destroyed. How are you still alive? Suffice to say that in Westgate, anything is possible. Vampires don't die easily. And that applies tenfold to an archmage. You did what I had planned for you to do. To a point. I suspected Tesheni was behind the Ebon Claws. But she was never my equal. Or even close. The sun's coming up. Whoever was leading the organization was almost my match. I needed to take drastic action to draw out the greater power. I faked my own death. And you were my tool. Indeed, I sacrificed two of my servitor vampires, as well as Tobias and the winery, in order to ensnare you. Had you performed your role and left, I would have allowed you to live, perhaps. I did not plan for the cursed spirit to reveal the location of my greatest operation. The factory was the source of blood that was to feed the empire I am forging. Uh. You destroyed it, and yeah, with it, it inflicted considerable damage to my plans. And... Uh, why are you telling me all this? I guess... I was like, well, because you will not live to be able to do anything about it. Because you have won my respect. Oh. And that warrants an explanation. Be glad few are given this honor. Thank you, then. But enough talk. It is time... For you to die. <laughs> the morning sun rises over Westgate, the first gentle rays sweeping the shadows of night from the dingy streets. <laughs> no, not now. Well, uh, time for you to meet your end, fiend. The morning sun isn't nearly strong enough to destroy me as it might my servants. I have time enough to return to my lair. Make sure you are gone from the city by the time the sun sets once more, or my servants will hunt you down. That is a promise. Uh, I'll be back, uh, Obokar. I have a stake with your name on it. Thortade. He doesn't reply. He simply regards you with his hypnotic gaze, a look of respect and hatred that promises much should you ever meet again. One, one vampire running away. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, the end. Okay. Oh. That was a little anticlimactic. <laughs> Alright. Well, there we have it. The final bit of the Mysteries of Westgate. And I think that's actually going to be the end of... Yeah, that's it. We've done them all. All of the Neverwinter Nights campaigns. So that's the end of Neverwinter Nights 2. I'm thinking what I might actually do, just because I'm curious. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to before that boss fight. Because 
when he he offers you the ability to become a vampire i'm kind of curious to see what happens if you take that path Ooh. you would be a fool to reject such an offer the gods are selfish beings undeserving of your soul damn right yeah offer it to the night and you shall live forever there can be no going back mortal i accept make me a vampire so i can talk like this from now on foolish creature I may have let you live as a reward for your help in leading us to the Faceless. But now you die along with him. The Ebon Claws will rule Westgate with my glorious mistress as a new Faceless. Uh. And so the rats wander into the trap. It is time to end this conflict, starting with your death, Changeling. My new servant will help me dispose of you and your lackeys. Of course, I came master. Back for this? You leave me no choice but to side with the Ebon Claws. Oh. Cannot believe I wasted so much of my time in the presence of one so. so vile. It is a shame that you have brought us to this point. I will stand with you. Excellent man, Tiddies. These vermin are not worthy of Shar's embrace. I pledge my allegiance to the Night Masks. Good. Join Come with me. My Ebon Claws. Slay them all for the glory of the Mistress. Now we fight them. Ah, ah, ah. Yes, you are no match for me and man titties, his mighty great sword, and my awesome rapier. Ah, ah, ah. Two dead companions. Ah, 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 ah. And I get all my shit back. Excellent. Got all that stuff that I gave you. I'm going to put it in my bag of holding because it is very, very heavy now. Ah, Renara's rogue links. Oh, I can't take that one. Fine. Is there another way out other than the portal? And where is my master? Ah, he's over there. Hello, my master. The blood. Soon you will know the thrill of it. Almost divine. Are you ready to accept the transformation, mortal? Yes, I am ready now. Ah, ah. You awaken from what seems like a sleep that lasted forever. The wounds you suffered in the fight with the Ebon Claws are gone. You feel stronger, faster. The sweet scent of blood strikes you and a deep hunger takes root in your stomach. Orkban smiles. Arise, my child. You have passed into the realm of undeath. You, your, so you hunger, but I will allow you to sate yourself on these carcasses. No, you shall feed on lie. I will not allow you to. Ah, thank you. The lead changeling possessed a map showing the way to the Ebon Claw hideout. There's an old sewer section leading from Undergate to this lair. I have already sent my minions to await you there. You shall lead them to the hideout and massacre the Ebon Claws. Uh, yes, my pleasure, my master. Ah, ah. You can reach Undergate through a secret door behind the statue outside the portal that brought you here. The entrance to the sewers is beyond a pile of fallen rubble. Be warned, the Ebon Claws are likely expecting you. I will join you after the hideout has been successfully cleansed. Good hunting, my mute minion. Um, oh, here we go. As a vampire, we gain a host of new powers. Strike terror, dominate minds, alter form, gaseous form. Uh, you spring up your character screen, click on the feats, your new vampiric feats will be found under things. So I better put them in my next screen there. Immune to everything that requires a fortitude you say, armor class, gain plus six natural bonus. Good god. Exposure to sunlight will provide utterly deadly to you. You cannot abide garlic or cross running water. 
Uh, healing magic no longer provides beneficial benefits to. Instead, you have the opposite effect. Oh, so I can't use any of my healing spells. Okay. Uh, you're now a thrall to your master. All right, cool. Let's go. Oh, look at my eyes. They streak now. Do I have garlic in my inventory? I thought I did at one stage. A hundred and eighty-two hit points! Fuck me! Ah, so she doesn't show up and talk to you this time. Uh, exit to Undergate. Okay, so we gotta go kill some Ebon Claws now. Ah, collapsed sewer tunnel. There it is. It was over here. Vampire, use your gaseous form to slip between the rocks. Yes. I'm unable to follow you any further, Aurora. I shall return to the Dark Lady's promise now. I didn't tell you this before, but the Church of Shar and the Night Musk are more closely connected than you might think. I wish you well in hunting down those rats. Slaughter them all, each and every one. Obakar would expect no less. Good hunting, Aurora. Oh, I got, got a solo mission. Ah, so, you are the Night King's newest subject, the one who, uh, led us against the Lycanthropes. Orbach has communicated... Oh no, these are the, these are the vampire people. Oh, he has communicated to us, uh, his will to us, so we must follow you. However, that does not make you our master, upstarts. Do not delude yourself into thinking your control over us extends beyond the coming battle. I understand. We're all servants of the Night King. Ah, ah. I see the master has chosen a loyal servant. Since uh, you no doubt wish to carry out his will immediately, I shall brief you on the situation. As the master no doubt told you, we uh, recently discovered the hideout of the Ebon Claws and their leader, Tishani. We uh, have been uh, waiting for the right time to strike, and that time has finally come. Tashani has marshaled her pathetic vermin forces for an assault on the night masks. A great many lycanthropes have gathered here with a leader. Aha. Uh -huh. Then we shall destroy them all. Uh -huh. A chorus of hisses erupts from your vampire followers, and they signal their approval. Just so, Aurora. In one fell swoop, we can eliminate Deshani and anyone who might take up the mantle of the leadership when she perishes. The urban cause will never trouble us again. We shall proceed at your command. <laughs> Westgate ought to pay us for eliminating its rat problem. Ah, ah, ah. Westgate will pay us a roller. With the urban cause gone, the city and its riches will be ours once more. Ah, ah. All right. <laughs> Cool. Still sing for him though, which is always a good thing. Where the hell is everyone? Look, Aurora, the vermin are waiting for us across the bridge. They think themselves safe, but we will see the pipe over there. It uh, exits onto a platform. Calm, let us tear them to shreds. <laughs> ah, there's a drain pipe. I will gaseous form through. I drift through the drain pipe. There we go, that's what we wanted. <laughs> Being a vampire is difficult. Oh, 
Alrighty. Where to now? So we were here before, but I couldn't cross the running water. So a gaping chasm blocks the path ahead. Here's my bat form. Abracadabra. Ah, ah, ah. Show back to human form. Your henchman follows suit. Yes, thank you, henchman. Oh shit, there's more rats over here. Perfect fireball position. I shall close the door. There, fuck off. You fool. You came back and I get to kill you now. Ah, ah. Uh. the door, dead in your tracks, suddenly overwhelming bout of nausea. The door is trapped with garlic. The vermin know how to repel us. Heh, of course we know. That vampire, everyone knows that. Ah, uh, such a simple... Ah, uh, such a sim... Oh, hang on, it's the rat talking. Heh, such a simple measure to turn back a whole army of vampires. Ah, uh, we would have used it earlier, but Mistress Sani doesn't uh, like us to keep a huge supply on hand. <laughs> I wonder why. Uh, um... I will dominate the were rat. Ha! Huh. What are you doing now, my helpless little kitten? Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, a strange look in your eyes. Ah, uh, ooh! Ho ho ho! Ah, what do you wish of me, master? Remove the garlic from the door. Were rat shuffles forward the command and blocks him from reaching the cluster of garlic dangling from the door frame on the other side. I cannot follow your command, master. <laughs> Give me another one so I might do your bidding. Open the door. He attempts to follow your command, but the door is locked. Ah, it seems the way is barred in a more conventional way as well. However, unless I miss my guess, that is the key over there, the one dangling from that hook. Ah, oh, I cannot follow your command, master. <laughs> Give me another so that I might do your bidding. Uh, unlock and open the door. Where it does your bidding. Ah, your will is done, master. What would you have me do next? Uh, remove the garlic from this door now. Bidding where rat pulls down the garlic dangling from the door frame. Uh, with a decessible substance removed, you can now pass through the door. <laughs> what do you wish me to do now? Uh, you've served me well enough. Run away from here so I don't have to slaughter you along with the others. Ah, ah. Nubbin. <laughs> Ah, what a good little rat friend. Uh. Vampires, we have been discovered. Yes. Quickly, Zymino, use your magic. We must raise the defenses. It's far too late for that, Tasheni. You played your hand, and Orbach trumped it. Orbach, that's it. I have better things to do than die along with the rest of you. Farewell, my treacherous ally. Ah. Her? Ebonclaws. 
Attack the intruders! Stake their hearts! No, I don't want to stake. Excuse me a second. Who's this person that keeps shooting me with arrows? Ah, oh, jeez, the rats are all... Good God, they're all coming out of the woodwork now. The problem with this game, when you don't have other companions, the fights can go on for quite a long time. No escape. Excellent work, my child. I trust you have seated yourself on the blood of these wretches. Uh, no, I didn't actually. I forgot. I suspected that my treacherous Countess of Shades was the power behind the Ebon Chords. Tashini wasn't half as subtle as she believed. The disappearance of her sorceress ally is, however, troubling. I sent Mantides to stake the traitor's body, but... There, sorry, there is delicious irony in this, but that's a tale for another time. Come, my new servant, we have much to discuss. The light is dying, and darkness is but a moment away. <laughs> Look down upon Westgate. Look down upon the cattle, unmindful of the predators that dwell in their midst. <laughs> they would consider us evil, yet I offered you a chance to stand beside me as an equal. How many of them would make the same offer to their next meal? Uh... Are you saying? Sorry, are you saying livestock can be compared to humanity? Why not? The bull struts, believing he owns the yard. In his small, uncomprehending brain, he is king. The cow's priorities are different, yet she is equally ignorant. Both are links in a chain that goes beyond their meager comprehension. With the inconvenience of the Ebon Claws dealt with, I am free to pursue my grander plans. I shall not stop at Westgate. My designs encompass the Dragon Coast itself. I foresee a time when each and every warm-blooded humanoid is forced to serve as cattle for a great nation of vampires. I've seen that movie. The Night Masks are the tool with which I shall bring this about. And you, my new Count of Shades, shall play a key part in the forging of this empire. Ah, ah, ah. The end. To the second ending. Ah, ah, ah. All right. Well, there we have it. At last, let's just click off here and get the the end of the Never Winter Nights quadrilogy, I guess. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing next. So I've got um, 
Icewind Dale 2 to play, and I've also got um, uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. So I'll likely uh, give those, either of those a crack. I'll get to them all eventually, but depending on which uh, which one I feel like at the time. I'm, I'm thinking I might even just do uh, Dark Alliance 2 because it's more of a hack and slash rather than um, the, the RPG style, just to be a little bit more mindless fun. And I will eventually start cracking the, um, the Neverwinter uh mmo as well just running through the storyline of that because remember i played that very briefly but never really uh, got that far into it so anyway that's where we're going to leave today's session so uh thank you all very much for watching please remember to like and subscribe i have been your humble bard tim and be sure to come back for the next session of aurora plays bye